Well, let's start. Let's mention the first song and let's get uh, let's get started. I guess so. Track one on there on side side one, disc one. Um, you can't hurry, love it. A 1966 song by the Supremes. He had two weeks at number one, released in December '82. Phil Collins, of course. Great song. Yeah, what a way to start. Um, big big intro uh, and just a big tune and just a great sort of imagining of as you say a Supremes classic uh, from the '60s and. Um, yeah, it, it set the stall out right from the start, didn't it? This, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have big tunes. Um, I mean, if you look across the album as a whole, there was 11 UK number ones on the album. 15 of the other songs um, reached the top 10. There's only four songs out of the 30 that featured on this first Now album that uh, didn't make the top 10, but they'd all become top 20 hits. So it was a massive album for the current sort of songs that are popular um, to generate that level of success. I actually prefer the Phil Collins version to the Supremes one. Maybe that's controversial. I do. I think it's a really good version. I mean, obviously, to do a, a cover of something is, you know, it's hard in itself. But yeah, I think he does a good. He does a good job, though, doesn't he? But there are a lot of covers on this album as well. It's only through doing a bit of research for this show that I'd realised quite how many songs are not originals. Um, but yeah, as you say, and it's probably down to, to age as well. If we were both older, we'd probably appreciate that Motown. Uh, Supreme's original more than we did the Phil Collins version, but we're both kids of the 80s. Um, I grew up musically in the 80s, you grew up in the 80s, and uh, and therefore that is where we sort of are going to stick with our influences. And Phil yes. Collins and Genesis, massive in the 80s. Phil Collins was up there as one of the big sort of musical solo singers of the 80s. He was up there with the likes of Prince, Michael Jackson, Madonna, George Michael, in terms of album sales and single sales so yeah massive 